gonna be a quick tutorial video. This is gonna be a quick tutorial video on how to use the video show app. Basically, what you wanna do is if you're gonna edit a video, press the edit video button. My phone is going a little bit slow right now, but that's okay. Then next, what you wanna do is you wanna if you wanna just get a bunch of videos, whatever videos you do have on here, you can start clicking those folders and clicking basically whatever you want. I don't even care. Um, but today I'm just going to be showing you how to make your own thumbnail. So what you do is, say for example, you took, uh, say, say you, um, no let's see, what's a good video? Oof, oof, oof. Okay. I'm going to go to my downloads to kind of see how this works a little bit. Okay, give me one second. Alright, so I had to cut out there for a second, but you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to take this picture right here, and you only need one picture for this. Um, yeah, but it's kind of dumb that that works that way because it zooms in if it thinks it's just a picture. So what you want to do is you want to grab um, a video first. So for instance, like go to your oops, go to your videos and hit just hit anything, and it won't zoom out anymore. And then you press uh, the check mark, and if you're afraid that this stuff is gonna like be really bad for your, um, okay, so take a look at this. Take a look at this. So you can if you switch them out, then it won't be a bad idea. Then all you have to do is just kind of click it right there and kind of make sure that it's um, not going to zoom in like a normal picture would. And let's see if it does. Let's see if it does. If it does, then we're going to need to delete it. Yep, it's going to, it's zooming in or zooming out. So what we're going to need to do is delete this picture and then grab another one. And it's just kind of a weird mechanic, but it works that way. Go back to downloads or wherever you're getting it from. Uh, it's right here. It's about coming up. Um, oof, is all I got to up. Oh, I missed it right here. There we are. Okay. Now that we have that out of the way, then this thing right here will just be normal. I'm assuming. Yep, we should be normal. Okay, waiting for the moment of truth. Should be normal. Oh goodness gracious. Okay. So basically what we need to do is we need to exit out and it'll save the draft automatically when you exit out. So in case you want to save something, then that would be a good idea in case your phone crashes or something like that because it does happen when it gets slow. Okay guys, so I found out the reason why it was doing that, why it was zooming in and zooming out. It's because if you go underneath photos, then it will do, then if you hit the photo button right here, then and go and scroll and do whatever it's going to register as a photo so you don't want to do that always go through all files and then you will won't have a problem with that and now we can go back to the draft after we saved it and we can kind of delete this little video right here i know it seems a little bit hard at first but in time it becomes really easy and you see it's not doing that anymore now all you have to do is just scroll over to your stickers and then say you have like a cutout person or whatever. Um, I'm just going to go to my gallery and kind of show you. There might be a different, a little bit of a different setup on yours, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to use this guy right here. I'm going to show you my touches so that it won't look weird. There we go. Just going to click that button right there. And he, I can resize him. I can even turn him the other way upside down you know whatever I can make him upside down I don't care and I can even move him if I want to like this and then it will register like that watch so that's pretty cool all you, and you can do this with anything you can do this with any picture and stickers if you want to if you're just cutouts that are from Photoshop I make them and then all the and then when you're finished with whatever you're gonna do you can like add a subtitle or whatever you can put fire and ice, for instance, and it can be right here. You can change uh, the color, the font, 
and everything. You can change the way it looks, the way it's outlined. I don't even care. You can change the way it's angled, even. You can change the capacity of what it is, if it's supposed to be faded or not. The, and the colors I like to use are mainly red and blues. So I just kind of stick this right here. And I can put fire and ice. And when you are completely done, it's you hit watermark. And usually if you take off the watermark, then you still have to, um, you have to pay for it. So what I do is I just take this right here. I'm going to move this down here. But if I, I usually take a screenshot like this. Oops, hang on, give me a second. I usually take a screenshot of this. Uh, it's not working. Okay, I took a screenshot. And then next I just exit out of the video show app. And... I go straight to my gallery right here go straight to my gallery and then I go to my screenshots all the way down here I crop it and yeah it's not hard at all you just crop it right here like this and there you go you have your screenshot you have your thumbnail thank you guys so much for watching and Actually, I'm not done with it yet, because the best way to get it onto your phone is to use the YouTube Studio app. So, for instance, say I wanted to, um, let's see, go right here. I wanted to make this right here a different. I just hit the edit button right up top, and I hit edit thumbnail. And then I can change by going to whatever is the newest or whatever. I can put this, and it's perfect size. And that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Um... And yeah, I'm not saving this, of course, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and yeah, and that's gonna be that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.